the European Championship. What's that? Only the second greatest international competition in the world behind the World Cup. That's what it is. And it's that time again, four years later, the UEFA European Championship is back in town. And this summer in France, it's already been four years since we said goodbye to Poland and Ukraine, 2012. And time flies, and here we are on the eve of France's kickoff between the, themselves and Romania. And this is going to be a great tournament, guys. The first time ever that it's going to be expanded to 24 teams from the original 16. And as promised, this was six months in the making. Here is my video. I'm going to be separating it into three parts, just like I did with the Copa America, on my predictions for the UEFA European Championship in France. So, without uh, <coughs> further ado, let's jump right in. This video, I'm going to be going over groups A, B, and C. So, group A, we have France, Romania, Albania, and Switzerland. Uh, the match kicks off tomorrow against Romania. Romania is a very defensively good side. In qualifying for the European Championship, they only conceded two goals. That is the least number of goals conceded of any team in all of Europe throughout the phase of qualifying. So France is going to struggle a little bit, I think, in the first 45 minutes to break down the Romanian back line. And I actually think halftime might just go 0-0, and uh, with the French being a little bit frustrated. But in no time, the French will find a goal, maybe a couple. They'll get the important first win needed for confidence on home soil and get the ground running off to a great tournament. The next game, Albania versus Switzerland. This is going to be a funny match because um, at least half of the uh, players on Switzerland are ethnically Albanian. They have the choice to play for Switzerland or Albania. Yep, uh, stars like uh, Zerdan Shakiri and uh, Valon Berami, Zemaili, and uh, <laughs> it's going to be really interesting to watch because when they when both teams take the pitch tomorrow, the majority of the players on the field are going to be from Albania. But I think Switzerland gets a win there in that game. And then moving on to France versus Albania. France should walk all over Albania, get six points. Romania versus Switzerland. This is going to be the most important match in this group. Uh, take note, each group has a match that is most important because it's usually between the second and third best teams in those groups and will determine uh, who, who advances along with the best team in that group. And the Romania versus Switzerland match, it's going to be the decider in who finishes second behind France and, it, and goes to the round of 16. And I think that match is going to end in a tie. I do. It's going to end in a tie. And then the final match between France and Switzerland. France and Switzerland were grouped together at the World Cup in Brazil where France destroyed them 5-2. Um... I could see the Swiss getting a little bit of revenge, getting a bit of a draw here. But I'm going to go with France to top the group with three wins. They should run riot all over on all three point opponents in this group. And I think Romania will beat Albania. And at the end of this group standing, I think France will top in first, Switzerland in second with a superior goal difference ahead of Romania. Romania in third with an inferior goal difference, and Albania in last with zero points. But they'll score a couple of goals. Group B, England, Russia, Wales, Slovakia. Uh, Russia has been forming a lot better lately under their new coach, Slutsky. They had a really disappointing European tournament in 2012 where they should have won the group, but they exited at the first stage in a loss to Greece. And then they lost again, eliminated in the World Cup in Brazil when they had a very 
easy group that was that they are more than capable of navigating with South Korea and Algeria, but they came up short. Fabio Capello was an awful manager, and ever since in qualifying, when they finished just behind Austria, they've been in much better form. They forced Sweden to a third place playoff game, and I think this could be just their year where they finally advance out of the group for the first time since Euro 2008, uh, where they made a shock run to the semifinals. So I think Russia will still lose their opening match to England. Uh, Slovakia versus Wales, that has all the makings of a draw. I'm going to go with 1-1. One, one. Um, keep in mind, in this video, I'm not going to go into big detail because if I, have, if I was going to go into huge detail, these videos would be so long, and I just want to cut to the chase. So if you have any questions for me, my reasonings why for these picks, I'll answer them in the comment section below. But I'm not going to go into detail here. Uh, the next match in this group would be England versus Wales. Two neighbors. Wales will have a big point to prove. They want to get a result to show that they can compete with England. That ends in a draw. Slovakia versus Russia. Two Eastern European powerhouses. Draw. And then England versus Slovakia. England wins. Tops the group with seven points. And Russia versus Wales. Like I said, I think this is Russia's year. Uh, no disrespect to Gareth Bale and his Welshman. I think Russia gets a narrow win here and finishes in second. So, England wins the group, Russia comes in second, uh, Wales in third, Slovakia in fourth, but Wales and Slovakia will be even on two points each, so maybe it'll be Wales-Slovakia in that order, or Slovakia-Wales in the opposite order, depending on goal difference. But in this group, my two teams to advance directly are England and Russia. And then in Group C, we have Germany... Ukraine, Poland, and Northern Ireland. Germany will play a Ukrainian side that has the best defense in this group. They conceded four goals in qualifying. Only two or three other teams did better than them. As I said before, Romania being one of them. And um, I think that Germany, nonetheless, will get off to a strong start like they always do in tournaments. They'll get the win over Ukraine. It's not going to be a blowout. I think it'll be like a 2-0 win. Uh, Poland versus Northern Ireland. This is a very crucial game for Poland to get all three points in because it's only going to get harder from there. Uh, I think Poland will beat Northern Ireland, but look out for the Northern Irish to steal a point from this game. Next game, Germany versus Poland. Germany, for some reason, always struggles in their second group game in major tournaments. They always slip up somehow, uh, with the exception being Euro 2012, but pretty much every major tournament of the last 10 years Germany usually draws or loses their second game. And Poland has the added advantage of having played Germany twice in qualifying since they were paired in the same group. They're playing an opponent, an opponent that's not only their neighbor, but a team that they're familiar with. So I think Poland can get a draw. They beat Germany at home in qualifying and then lost to Germany on the road. But since both teams have been sorted out and are familiar with each other's style, I think Lewandowski inspires the Poles to a draw. Ukraine versus Northern Ireland. I think Ukraine will beat Northern Ireland to stay uh, steadily behind, just right at the, the, to the doorstep behind Germany and Poland. Uh, and then the final group game, Germany and Northern Ireland. This is the death knell for the Northern Irish. I'm sorry. Uh, Germany will beat Northern Ireland uh, comfortably and top the group with seven points. Now, Northern Ireland, I don't think they're going to be a pushover in this match, but I don't think they're going to get a single point in this mat in this group. Uh, they'll get a couple of goals. I expect Kyle Lafferty and Mick Ginn to put on strong performances, but uh, it's just too strong of a group for them to overcome. Maybe they can pull off a surprise with a win over Poland in their first match, but it's not likely, looking at the form that Poland has been in lately. Um... <clears throat> and then Poland versus Ukraine. This is the most important match of this group because it'll determine who finishes in second behind Germany. Uh, history favors Ukraine here because Ukraine uh, has not lost to Poland in any match since the year 2000 and recently in a friendly beat Ukraine, uh, excuse me, beat Poland in Poland 3-1 to one on the road. But I just have a feeling that Poland will come out with, with more confidence from their draw with the Germans, and they're going to get a result against the Ukrainians. They might win the match. 
but I'm going to give Ukraine the benefit of the doubt because I think they have the best defense in this group, whereas Poland play a game that's a little bit too wide open. I think the, the attack and the defense of both teams are going to cancel each other out, and it's going to be a draw. So the, the final standings of this group, I have Germany with seven points, uh, Poland with five, Ukraine with four, and Northern Ireland with zero. And the two teams that advance directly from this group are Germany and Poland. Um, so that's it for these the first three groups. Stay, stay tuned for my next video for groups D, E, and F. And remember, I'm going to have to pick the four best third place sides to advance as well. Because under this new format, uh, the four more teams have to advance than just the top two group winners. So only eight teams in this uh, first round are eliminated due to the tournament's expansion. Some people think that's a bad idea. I think it's a good idea because the competition in this tournament is not by any means diluted. You look at the qualifying phase and you see teams like Albania, Romania, Northern Ireland, Iceland uh, knock off some really strong superpower teams like Holland, Portugal. I think Albania beat Portugal in qualifying. Northern Ireland topped their group in qualifying. They won their group. Uh, Iceland beat Holland twice. So people are complaining that this tournament's going to be easy for the big teams in the, in the group stage. You're kidding yourselves. The expansion was the, was the right thing to do, and it makes it much more competitive and brings more quality to the tournament as a whole. So that's it for my predictions for this uh, here. And uh, see you in my next video, part two of my European Championship uh, 2016 predictions. Peace.